morning everyone. Oh, Sunday morning. Look at all that smoke. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the uh, conservation of land management's burning off. Oh, lovely flowers. Lovely flowers. Alright, I fed Mr. Fish this morning. Uh, those of you who have been watching me on the more online um, monitoring know that there's been changes in the shed before I even tell you. Basically, uh, some more light. Okay, there we go. We put the uh, new Midnight Classic on the wall. Okay, well, I put it in here um, and shifted the old one over because um, we're still waiting for a new comms board for that one. But um, it's working great. So this one, um, a new one. Oh, smell that. No, you just can't. That's the smell of a brand new Midnight Classic. Only those that have a brand new Midnight Classic know what that smell is like. It's a little bit between, oh, that's a lovely smell. And, uh, anyway, um, so this has got a, uh, the Wizbeck Junior and everything on it. So all the readings are coming from this one. Um, it's the master and this is the slave or the wife and the husband, if you like, because, you know, the husband's always got to do it, the wife tells it, most of the time anyway. Now the, um, if you just have a look, you'll see the uh, state of charge and everything's different on this one, because there's no whiz bang, nothing on this one. It's just basically doing its own shit like most men do, and not taking any notice of its wife at all. Okay, um, oh, I've had the uh, commute the uh, communication cables put in. There they are there, see? Um, it goes from three to two and then three to two to complete the loop. Um, basically, yeah, it's, it's, they're meant to follow each other now. Uh, I'd like to also thank Bill and um, his lovely wife there for sending me over those cables from America. Bill and Rosa from Bill and Rosa's Off Grid Cabin. They sent them over years ago. I've only just opened the box and used them. So they got the right American plugs in there because you just can remember a few years back I had trouble because the Australian ones just would not work. I couldn't get them to work anyway. And I went and bought dozens of different bloody brands. So, um,. There we go. Kind of looks sexy, don't they? Husband and wife, midnight classics. Or master and slave, if you like. Wife and husband, if, if you say it that way. Because let's face it, you know, let, let's, let's get down. Let's get down to the hard tax of it. Most women are in charge of the household, you know? All right. Like, yeah, the men wear the pants of the house. Okay, and as a boss, but only when the woman's not around. Okay, so um, we've tidied up a bit. Oh, I tell you, because um, some of the wires rang through this channeling, and we pulled that channeling out. Now you see that big uh, three-pole switch there. Um, that's a shut off that I can shut off when I'm want to turn everything off and just do some maintenance and I must have knocked it off yesterday okay and I didn't notice it and I was inside and I'm going to the Ziggy I'm going I'm going love something's not right love and he's going what do you mean I said well the amps are all wrong something's not reading the amps I might have broke the whiz bang junior or something Anyway, I said, go put the kettle on. And she put the kettle on, boom, the power went out. 
and then I knew something wasn't right so I came out here and that switch was off so um, after I put those classics in uh, for most of the day yesterday we were just running off the solar normal house loads and when I put the kettle on because it always takes the, the uh, charge controllers time to respond uh, and they couldn't respond quick enough and of course these shut down for safety but if I'd have had a bank of capacitors there I would never have known you know just a few caps uh, to, to handle that surge load I would never have known that my batteries weren't being charged um, because everything just would have been working as normal and the caps would have been taking the surge load uh, so yeah you know can you, can you run the, all this gear without batteries? Well, obviously, because I did it yesterday. Um, and I didn't even have any capacitors. The solar was just feeding what everything needed uh, through the, the, this bottom cable here. So that's my little accident yesterday. Wasn't anything, uh, it wasn't drama or tragic. I, I, I found it a, a, a learning experience yeah, a real learning experience. Because um, I honestly didn't think you could do that. Uh, there was no battery on it at all. It was just all running off the solar. Uh, okay, so that's a look at that. Go online and click the classics, click the I button, and you can see both of them, and you can see the difference in the state of charger I was talking about. Um, in the program, if you've got dual classics or something like that, your state of charge always comes off number one. So this is number one, and that's the husband. Hey everybody, how are you all going? As you can see, it's, uh, I've had a long day. I've had a long day. I had a lovely visit from, from Matt. Um, and Jeremy's been working it, and his system up and going. But uh, I just wanted to share with you some changes we've made. It's, uh, I hope you find it interesting. Um, it's mainly to do with the web page, uh, the live view, not so much this, but we'll have a quick look here. Uh, the program's been up and down, up and down, up and down because we've been working on it. And uh, you can actually see that in the battery logs for today. Here we go. Uh, where are we? There we go. Battery logs today. And you can see it here mainly in the morning. You can see the gaps and the, and the skips and the, the missing times down the bottom. But that's okay. You know, that's what it's all about. Now, uh, one of the biggest changes we've made is uh, online. And again, to get to the online view, you go to my web page, click that. It'll bring you here. Now, for those people um, that said, oh, can you do something about it for mobiles? Because the page, when it resizes, is too small. Um, and you're having trouble reading it. So, I got the whip out and I've been beating Jeremy all day. But we've come up with this mobile version. Okay, um, that should, you should be able to read it a lot better. Now, um, with your touch screens, to look at the various things, you just touch the um, Midnight Classic and you've got both classics there. Okay, number one classic is the main classic. Uh, with the um, with Bang Junior and everything on it, so that's that's the boss of the house, the, the woman or the wife, and number two is the husband. And as you can see, it doesn't have it doesn't have the state of the uh, Whiz Bang Junior on it. But I I am going to get one and put on that, so it will read the right state of charge. But for now, it just it's not uh, they're hooked together in follow me mode, but it's not. It, it does it when it's charging, it follows the other one, but it just doesn't know the correct battery state of charge because it hasn't got a whiz-bang on it. So I'm going to fix that up 
in the next few weeks. Okay, so that's the classic. If you want to see what the um, PIP 4048s, uh, IPS, or what, whatever that you, you call them in whatever country you live in, you can have a look at number unit one and see what it's doing right now. Okay, and then you can have a look at unit two and see what it's doing. And the summary. As you can see, they're both pretty close. This one's taken five amps out of the battery. This one's taken five amps out of the battery. Uh, the battery volts. You see, they do read the battery volts different, but um, when I set the charging up in these, I take into account the difference in volts. Okay. All right, and then if you want to see what the um, hybrid's doing, of course it's doing nothing. It's not. That's that's me back up inverter. Status is abnormal because it's night time now, so there's no no uh, solar coming in on PV1 or PV2 because it's got two charge controllers in it. Okay. All right. And then to get back to the home view. You click the house. You, did you see that? See the little house up there? You click the house and it takes you back to your home view. Alright, so that should be a lot better for um, the people that don't have a uh, notepad uh, everywhere they go, uh, but they've got a, a, um, a decent phone, you know, not one of the small flip phones or something like that, but a decent one with a touch screen. It'll be fine, okay? I mean, yeah, you just can't make, you can't make everybody happy, but we've tried to make you as happier, okay? Um, and then to go back to desktop view, you click that, wait for it to load, and then you go back to the desktop view. And that's the main change that we've made and of course in the desktop view you can still view your different units by clicking on the little blue eye, eye button, information button and you can see the weather um, and if you go to about that gives you the copyright information and the sinks information and all that sort of stuff okay so that's it. That's the main changes made. Um, I'll, I'll attach this to the tail end of the install video uh, where I installed the second classic. Okay, keep safe everyone. Have a great night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Just enjoy life. Bye for now.